Everything worked out until the legal case. I sat in my cell and wrote down the evidence I had against all the people I had worked with. People I had been friends with for 10 years. The case was huge and caused a shock throughout the country. Salieri got life. Even some of his thugs got the chair. The shorter sentence was eight years. I spent the whole time in a closed cell at a secret location with no visitors. I didn't see Sarah or my little girl the entire time. In the end, it was worth it. Norman got us new identities and moved us to the other end of the US. I got work as a driver for a respectable company. We started a whole new life. This peace was only interrupted by the war, but we got through it. Mr. Angelo. Uh, yes? Mr. Salieri sends his regards. You know, the world isn't run by the laws written on paper. It's run by people. Some according to laws, others not. It depends on each individual how his world will be, how he makes it. And you also need a whole lot of luck so that somebody else doesn't make your life hell. And it ain't as simple as they tell you in grade school. But it is good to have strong values and to maintain them in marriage, in crime, in war. Always and everywhere. I messed up. So did Polly and Sam. We wanted a better life, but in the end, we were a lot worse off than most other people. You know, I think it's important to keep a balance in things. Yeah, balance, that's the right word. Because the guy who wants too much risks losing absolutely everything. Of course, the guy who wants too little from life might not get anything at all. Mr. Angelo? Uh, yes? Mr. Salieri sends his regards. Nobody's carrying you to the doctor this time, Sam. You kill me now in the dawn. She's never gonna stop looking for you. But you let me live. I'll tell Salieri you're dead. You can disappear. Just like Frank. Only you'll be smart enough to stay gone. Right? What happened to him? He was hiding out in Europe. <laughs> what a dumb bastard. He started betting at the dog track. Got spotted by a friend of the family. So Salieri, he sent out a crew. And his family? Can you? you? Always that little voice in the back of your head. Maybe sounds like your baby girl, Sarah. 
always telling you not to pull that trigger. And you can't make up your mind. It's getting easier every time you open your fucking mouth. <laughs> we sure had some laughs, right? Remember that time? Me, you, and Polly. Went A long time ago, in another life, someone once told me that family is a man's Achilles heel, his greatest weakness. Maybe he was right. Because everything I've done, both good and bad, I've done for my family. I've turned my back on people they thought were my friends. I've kept a lot of hard promises. I spent eight years totally alone, trying to find myself so I could come home. A better husband, a better father, a better man. Now that I'm a lot older and just a bit wiser, <laughs> I see that family is our greatest weakness, but it's also our greatest strength. It gets us out of bed in the morning. It lets us chase our dreams, even when they're moving too fast to catch. It keeps us from falling over when we're too tired to take another step. Mr. Angelo. Yes. Mr. Salieri sends his regards. Tommy! That's okay. You're safe now. You're all safe. Remember that money, jobs, even best pals will come and go. But family, family is forever. 